Hello and welcome back to the middle of the first part of the first chapter of Trials of Salem, Miss Clue in BFK. Now, I've just gone ahead and seen a ghost go across in front of the window and I had to shut the window because it kept banging and the curtains were blowing and it's just... Okay. I'm not sure what I just saw, but it is odd. Okay, well, when I resumed, because I had to stop, I resumed the game, so it did play that again, but that's that's the ghost. It's very spooky, so I'm going to go ahead and... I guess I'll go ahead and close I'd the window again. I'd better close the window. I don't want to be responsible for the glass breaking. There go. That makes me feel safer, but from what? I'm not sure. The window was banging and the curtains were fluttering, and yet... Looking out the window, I don't see any sign of a storm at all. So what did cause the window to slam shut? Well, let's go back to bed. I think that's probably what we're supposed to do here. Very, very spooky. So Love, I just got to see one of the ghosts. A typical New England day. Dull gray and overcast okay so what do we do here we're up guess we could leave or head downstairs as soon as I get dressed ah, oh I better get dressed yeah that would be a good thing let's go put some clothes on okay let's see what I have here oh, our fires burned down to embers but it was a nice fire in the night. It looks like I've got a trunk over here. So let's see what's I'm in it. I'm glad I listened to Bethia and brought fashions which match the customs of the Puritans here in Salem. The latest styles from England would certainly stand out here. Yeah, I can imagine. The styles were a little bit more flamboyant than they would be here. Okay, ooh, black. I'd Still. best not choose this one, as wearing black is one of the reasons they have used for accusing someone of being a witch. Oh my. Okay, let's not choose that. It's a dreary day, so uh, I don't know. Brown, blue, green looks a little bit too bright for today. Let's go with the blue. Perfect choice for a day like today. I agree. And let's put on a hat, I guess. Everyone Perfect. wears a hat. Ready for the day. Okay, that's good. Oops. Ew, that doesn't go with today at all. Oh, I agree. I changed my outfit, darn. Perfect okay. choice for a day like today. Yes, I want to get away from this. Okay, there we go. I don't want to go back there. I want to turn around. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, we should be able to leave now. Let's go see what's happening outside the door. And we are in this... They're calling it the Ingersoll's... Ordinary. That's such an unusual word. Bethia, I guess that's what they call it. certainly a bright spot on a cloudy day. Thank you so much. Isn't the weather dreary? Ooh, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Miss Joni True is downstairs, and I was thinking we should go down and visit with her. She probably could use someone to talk to. An excellent idea. Joni True. I'm going to stop by my room for just a moment, and then I will join you. You don't have to rush. I'll go down now. This one turn around. No, I'm back in my room. Hello, Miss True. How are you this morning? As well as can be expected. I didn't sleep much last night. That's certainly understandable. How is your grandfather holding up? He is working with several other men to collect petitions on behalf of my grandmother as to her character and position in the community. That is a very positive step. Oh, I'm afraid it may not be enough. Others have collected similar petitions and yet were still executed. I understand that they have set the date of execution for four days from now. With so many people against this, how can it be happening? There are two wicked judges, Corwin and Stoughton, who are causing all of the problems. 
The judges call innocent people evil witches, but it is the judges who are actually evil. In fact, the judges are the ones who are taken with madness and now appear to revel in the executions. If there are any contracts with the devil, you will find the judges' names upon them. From what little I know and have heard since arriving in the New World, I cannot argue with your conclusion. My family is staying with Mr. Danforth in Boston, and he also shares your opinion. It is the new charter brought back from England that has permitted the creation of the Court of Oya and Termina, which has called for the executions. This is also strange, as I am certain that executions for being a witch have been outlawed, at least in England. Exactly, and yet my grandmother will be executed in just four days. It is madness. Where is your grandmother held? She is held in a private jail, which only adds insult to our case, as the jail is a barred room in Judge Corwin's carriage house, which means he will be able to reimburse himself handily from the public purse for the time she is held there. Oh, disgusting man. Which house is Judge Corwin's? It is the first house on the left as you enter Salem Town, but no one is allowed to visit any of the prisoners. I wasn't exactly thinking about asking permission to visit, but I did have some other ideas. It seems at this point we would need a miracle. Sometimes it is difficult to know exactly what is needed, but finding that can make all the difference. Ah, oh, here's Bethia. It looks like you two have been getting on quite well this morning. I'm so pleased to see that you are holding up so well, Janie. Fairly well, but with everything happening so fast, it's hard to believe tis all real. Yesterday I heard that Rebecca Preston has taken ill. I heard the same thing. She's also still suffering from having just lost her dear mother, Rebecca Nurse, to the wicked actions of Stoughton. And with her unwell, she has been unable to make candles her family depends on to trade for essentials like flax and fish. So, I was thinking it could be an act of charity if we were to go over and make the candles for her today. What a good idea. If we go now, we should have plenty of time. I wish I could go with you, but I need to wait here for my grandfather to return. Don't give it a thought. We will fill you in on all the details when we return. I've known Rebecca for some time, so we can just go in without bothering her, in case she is asleep. Well, then that's decided. All that's left is to get to work. I think Rebecca has commitments for 30 candles and 5 friendship candles. If I remember correctly, she keeps the candle making supplies in the box to the right of the fireplace. Perfect! If you would like to go ahead and start, I will go and look in on Rebecca and see if she needs anything. I do hope she's feeling better. Oh, my. Oh, I thought I was going to go get to make candles. Oh, well, that must be in part two. Because this is just the first part, and there's another part, and it's coming today. So I really, that's why I wanted to get this finished. I was, I, I, I was trying to do the other one last night, and it just, uh, it just ended up that I couldn't get it all done in one, on one go. So, anyway, it's uh, Trials of Salem, Chapter One. It's up to you, as Jane Darcy, to unravel the mystery behind Trials of Salem in Part Two tomorrow. Part Two coming Halloween, October 31st, 5:30 p.m. and 8:30. Eastern Time, your reward for completing Trials of Salem, Chapter 1, Part 1 is a mystifying Miss Glue magnifying glass. I love these. Okay, good luck. There's some of these events starting, but we're not going to that. We're going to go ahead and come back later at 5.30 Pacific Time to play the second part. I'm so excited about this, and this is great. This is just um, what I was hoping for. So, let me say goodbye. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you soon. Bye.